the knife and the way it was bought is pretty strong evidence, don't you think so? Uh, I do, yes. Good. Now, suppose we take these facts one at a time. One, the boy admitted going out of his house at 8 o'clock on the night of the murder after being punched several times by his father. No, 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 wait a minute. He didn't say punched. He said hit. You know, that there's a difference between a slap and a punch. After being hit several times by his father. Two, he went directly to a neighborhood junk shop where he got a, um, what do you call those things? Yeah, a switch knife. Switch knife. Three, this wasn't what you would call an ordinary knife. It had a very unusual carved handle. Four, the storekeeper who sold it to the boy identified the knife in court and said it was the only one of its kind he'd ever had in stock. Five, that around 8.45, the boy ran into three friends of his in front of the diner. Am I correct so far? Yes, you are. You bet she is. Listen to this woman because she knows. <laughs> he talked with his friends for about an hour, leaving them at 9.45. During this time, they saw the switch knife. Six. Each of them identified the death weapon in court as that same knife. Seven. The boy returned home at around 10 o'clock. Now, this is where the stories offered by the boy and the state begin to diverge slightly. He claims that he stayed home until 11.30 that night and then went out to one of those all-night movies. He returned at 3.15 in the morning to find his father dead and himself arrested. Now, what happened to the switch knife? This is the charming and imaginative little fable the boy invented. He claims the knife fell through a hole in his pocket sometime between 11.30 and 3.15 while he was on his trip to the movies and that he never saw it again. This is a tale. I think it's quite clear the boy never went to the movies that night. No one in the house saw him go out at 11.30. No one at the theater identified him. He couldn't even remember the names of the pictures he saw. Now what actually happened is this. The boy stayed home had another fight with his father, stabbed him with the knife at 10 minutes after 12, and fled the house. He even remembered to wipe the knife clean of fingerprints. <coughs> Everyone connected with the case identified the knife. Now, are you trying to tell me that it really fell through a hole in the boy's pocket and that Somebody picked it up off the street, went to the boy's house, and stabbed his father with it just to be amusing? No, I, I, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is, it's possible this boy lost his knife, and somebody else stabs the father with a similar looking knife. That is possible. Take a look at that knife. I have never seen one like it before. Neither had the storekeeper who sold it down. to the boy. Now, aren't you asking? to accept a pretty incredible coincidence? Look, uh, I'm not asking anyone to accept anything. Please, I'm, I'm just saying it is possible that you're I'm happen. saying it's not possible. Take our seat. 